What's up YouTube? In this video we're going to be talking about putters. I'm going to show you guys several different plastic options out there on the market and attempt to go through some of the benefits and some of the negatives for each of those plastic types to hopefully uh, help you guys understand what the differences are, what they're best used for, and which one might be best suited for your needs uh, based on your climate um, and just what you're looking to get out of the disc. Okay, So we have several different options represented not nearly everything there's a ton more stuff out there but I have uh, most of the plastic types for the Trilogy uh, brands I also have um, some stuff from Discraft and uh, I don't really have too many different Innova options just based on the, the stock that I have um, here at my house I tend to throw mostly Discraft and Trilogy stuff so that's what I have but a lot of these concepts will still work for those uh, Innova plastics and if you have any questions about any of this stuff that I haven't included here, just leave me a comment down below and I will let you guys know uh, to the best of my ability. I'll answer those questions and see if I can help you out. So, what do we have? We have, this is a Prime Warden. So this is from Dynamic Disc. This would be the same plastic as Retro or Rigio. Um, it is also extremely similar to the Classic Hard. Just barely more give to it. So this is going to be representing the classic hard, BT hard, or zero hard plastic as well because I do not have those uh, to show you. So there's that guy. This is a BT medium. So this would be the same as classic blend or zero medium plastic. Um, has a slightly different feel to it. And there is some variation in all of this. So uh, bear that in mind as well. This particular one is BT medium. So we'll, uh, we'll get into that guy. We also have Opto which I'm just going to briefly briefly uh, discuss. Not a very popular option. For Discraft, we have the Pro-D Soft Magnet. My personal favorite for uh, my go-to putter, which this is, is a Jawbreaker Magnet. This is my go-to right there. Then, two of my uh, main approach discs right now is the Soft Caltrup from Latitude 64, same as the Classic Soft or BT Soft Plastic. And then we have the Mega Soft. This one is, uh, I don't believe they make the Mega Soft Plastic anymore, but they just took it off the market, or out of production rather, and there's still plenty of these floating around, so still an option that you can find if you're interested. So, let's start with, uh, start with the Discraft stuff, because I don't have as much of it to show you. So, the Jawbreaker Magnet, Jawbreaker Plastic, has a little bit of give to it, for sure but it's not as soft overall as the Soft Pro D. This is a more rubbery, softer feel, very similar to the Soft from the Trilogy brands, but this is not quite as grippy perhaps, and maybe not quite as soft, but there are some variances in the Pro D soft plastic. You'll find some that are really rubbery, really soft, and others that aren't that, uh, aren't that soft, but they're always gonna have some give under the thumb. They're always gonna have some flexibility to the flight plate. And uh, I really like soft magnets. This is one of my go-to approach discs and tee shot discs over the entire career of playing disc golf for me. It's just a, a tremendous disc. I really like this one. Jawbreaker has a more grippy feel. It's kind of more similar to the medium from uh, the Trilogy br brands. Maybe a little bit softer than medium. Um, but nice thing about this, it's not so flexible overall it just has a nice grip and good uh, give under the thumb so it allows for very consistent releases right one of the cons of a softer plastic like this one is that it's a little bit less consistent in terms of its release since that disc is more gummy it has more give to it it doesn't come out of the hand exactly the same way every time so there are some things to consider we'll talk more about the, the uh, benefits of the softer plastic as we get into these ones so Opto. Opto plastic is a premium plastic, more uh, popular for drivers in mid ranges. You're not going to see a lot of people putting with Opto plastic. The reason for that is it's more slippery and it actually does seem to bounce out of the basket a little bit more. You're not going to see people using champion putters. There's only so many putters avail available in the champion plastic from Innova. You just don't see it too often. These are more for throwing. So this is a tee shot putter for me. So if you want something to throw off the tee, definitely look into the more premium plastics. They're going to last longer and be much more durable and can maintain flight characteristics for a long period of time. And if you're throwing a disc off the tee, you're going to be putting more energy on it. It's going to be flying faster and hit trees with more impacts. So more durable plastic is nice. But you're not going to see a lot of people putting with these. You could do it. If for whatever reason you just like the way they feel, you don't seem like they bounce out of the basket for you, 
use what works. And that's, that's the main thing that is underlying for this whole video is that there's a lot of personal preference involved in your putter plastic and if it's working, it's working. There's no arguing with that. But there are definitely some, some different things you want to consider if you're just trying to figure out what to even try. So, BT Medium. This has a little bit of give to it under the thumb, similar to the Jawbreaker, but maintains a pretty uh, rigid feel overall. Now, um, the same with the Prime Plastic. This is even more stiff, closer to the Classic Hard, and there's no real flex to it, and very little give under the thumb. Then you move up to the Soft. You can see it has more, more flexibility, more give under the thumb, and uh, a more rubbery feel to it. And the Mega Soft is like, super floppy, super rubbery, incredible grip, but um, definitely has a weird, weirder feel in the hand. It flops around a little bit when you're holding it, and it's just kind of strange in the hand. I think a lot of people have got to kind of get turned off by that, but it does have some uh, advantages. So, in terms of the Prime or Classic Hard Plastic, this would be more similar to like a KC Pro Plastic, which is extremely popular amongst Innova players, especially at the higher level. So, why do more professional players tend to prefer the harder plastics? The main reason is that it comes out of the hand in the same way. So there's no, it's not going to like bend or change in, uh, in its shape or anything like that. Where this Mega Soft, it could kind of get caught on your fingers or just have a different feel coming out of the hand because it's so soft and there's so much give to it. This disc is going to allow for very smooth transition out of your hand in a very consistent motion that allows you to dial in that really uh, consistent flight path from your putting. Because when you're talking about a 20 foot putt, it's not difficult to do. To throw to the basket from there, when you learn how to use proper form, is not difficult. What is difficult is being able to do it over and over and over again in exactly the same manner. So if the professional player can remove any variables I can by having a more stiff putter, it allows it to release in the same way, has that same feel, and uh, is just more consistent overall that way. I also think there's just a tendency to do, to do that and use the more hard plastics because other people do. Something that professional players tend to do, and there are, I don't want to say that they're just kind of jumping on the bandwagon per se, but when you're at a high level, you're competing with other high level players, they're all using um, the kind of more firm plastics, there's probably something to that. You might be more likely to do that yourself. So that's some of the benefits of that. Some of the cons of this plastic, it's not as grippy. You might just not like the feel of it very much. In the winter, it's gonna feel really slick. And uh, I personally just don't really care for it. It's a little bit too rigid for me. I like something that has a little more flexibility. Also, this plastic is a little bit more likely to slide and skip a little bit when it lands, and also probably more likely to stand up and roll as well. So. If you wanted something that <clears throat> is mostly consistent in terms of its release out of your hand, but has more of a rubbery, grippy feel and a little bit more give, then you want to look towards the medium or, like I use, the Jawbreaker. It's got that kind of nice, consistent feel where it's firm enough that it doesn't feel different in the way it exits your hand, but it has a little bit more grip to it, a little bit more of a rubbery feel that inspires confidence for me when I have a nice grippy putter. Some people like a, sl a more slippery putter to allow it to pop out of your hand, again, in a very consistent way. It doesn't have any drag coming out of your hand, so it's a nice smooth release. That, again, gets back to uh, more personal preference, but there it does make sense scientifically that more slippery plastic will be released from your hand in a much smoother transaction than something more, more grippy and rubbery like this. So here's the soft and the mega soft. So what are the benefits of these? Okay, if it's the winter, the mega soft will probably feel closer to the soft and the soft will probably feel closer to the medium. So when, as the temperatures get low, you might want to um, look into some of this softer plastic because you know it's going to um, firm up in the colder temperatures and feel more similar to the medium that you might throw during the summer. I'm carrying this Mega Soft right now for more utility shots, but it's also really great for the winter because, again, in those cold temperatures is going to feel much more similar to the soft plastic that I normally carry. But let's talk about some of the benefits of this softer material. 
gets back to the soft magnet, the soft, mega soft, or any other plastic like that. There's other plastics out there that are even softer than this, which is hard to believe when you can do that. That's, that's pretty soft, but there are some plastics that are just as floppy as this, if not even more so, like the DGA Blowfly and Gum Putt. Those are extremely soft, bendable discs. They're really great for approaches that you need to land and stay where they land. If you need your disc to land near the basket and stay there, the, the Mega Soft or a really soft, flexible putter, uh, plastic type, is excellent for that shot. And you know it's going to land, and it's not going to skip and jump, it's going to grab the ground, and it's going to sit right there, which is beautiful. Something that you really um, will appreciate if you have like an uphill putt or a downhill uh, approach or something like that where you really need it to not skip and jump, jump past the basket. This really soft plastic is, is great for that. Also, it absorbs some of the impact off of a tree. So if you're throwing on an approach, it will eat some of that impact and it won't kick off as far. It'll kind of eat some of the impact and drop more straight down, which should keep you closer to the fairway rather than kicking off really far left or right, depending on which side of the tree you hit. I ultimately really just like the softer plastic because it just it's grippier, it feels better in my hand. I dig it. I know what it's going to do. I can throw it on that approach. I know it's going to sit and land where it, uh, stay where it lands, and I like that very much. The the Mega Soft I'm, I'm carrying for those situations where I really need it to sit down, but I'm not throwing it as much because I find the regular Soft more consistent in the terms of how I can release it, and it's easier to put spin and a smooth release on a disc that has more structure to it. This thing is so soft that sometimes you try to throw it, and rather than putting that spin on axis, it might kind of bend in the backswing at some point, and it won't come out as clean out of your hand. So, that's a lot of different things for you to consider when you're trying to figure out which putter and which plastic type might work best for you. If you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll check you later. Cheers.